Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What's up, guys? It's your boy Benny. Uh, today is October 26, 2023, and this marks the seven year anniversary of the greatest tweet ever sent. Hillary Clinton saying, Happy birthday to this future president. Just seconds away from losing the 2016 election to Donald Trump with this, eh, I mean, you know, schoolgirl photo of Hillary, I guess, before the demonic possession and the Epstein Island trips and before selling her soul to Satan. Maybe she was an innocent little child. Once more, it's amazing to see that this tweet is still up, that this still with 100,000, 100,000. God, add a little, add a little extra spice there. 100,000 retweets, 128,000 likes, 33,000 comments. <laughs> Not my president. Hillary killed Epstein. This tweet continues to age like fine wine. Who wishes themselves a happy birthday? Wow, narcissism is a disease. Bless your heart. Mm, go away, witch. What kind of egotistical moron wishes themselves a happy birthday? Well, somebody who obviously doesn't run. Hillary Clinton didn't know how to operate her email address, much less a Twitter account, but her mewling uh, Craven staff, some of them of which I know because I lived in Washington, D.C. One of them was like my neighbor, lived down the street. I won't name them, but like these people are just such psychotic, truly mentally diseased narcissists. Of course they would tweet something like this. Happy birthday to the future president. <laughs> Seven year anniversary to the worst post in history. ALX says it's the worst post. I say it's the best posts. So let's have our own anniversary celebration, shall we? Here are some of our favorite subtweets and roasts of this post today. Congressman Troy Nels, one of our favorite. This tweet aged like fine wine. And Troy Nels loves, loves fine wine and a cigar. This aged like Bill Clinton. <laughs> This aged well. Got it. All right. Very good. Okay. Very good. I really like, I really like the, I very much like the uh, dad jokes there. Things that didn't age well. This tweet and Hillary Clinton. Okay. Got it. Yep. Today is Hillary Clinton's birthday. It's a good time to remind everyone this is the worst age tweet in the history of Twitter. Seven years ago, and she's still not president, and she never will be. Happy anniversary to this tweet. We continue. Wesley Hunt, a member of Congress from Texas. Never forget what Donald Trump saved this country from. Mm, you're going to get a little love from me there. We'll just retweet. Live here, happy anniversary to all who celebrate, <laughs> Jack. The reason we have seen all the censorship, all the crackdowns, all the weaponization of government is because this one tweet did not come true. You may not accept it yet, but you will. He's right. He's right. They're right. They thought they had full control. They thought they had unified control of the future of this nation. And we defied them. We defied them and their Muppet class. And of course, there's Republican Muppet class. You see it in the Bush family. You see it in Mitch McConnell living today. There are Republican Muppets and there are Democrat Muppets. But they're trying to build a police state. They're trying to build a full police, dictatorial, censorship regime to rule over us in some type of Orwellian nightmare and to rig and to enforce their rules on us, shred the constitution. And you gotta have a party that is the foundation for that. And that party is the Democrat party. And with Donald Trump's ascension, what happened was the Republican party effectively broke away from that plan. Even though there are still some very, very craven lunatic, there are many craven lunatics on the Republican side that would love that. Hilarious that she never deleted this, she did not. I have to wonder how a young Hillary Rodham Clinton would react if I told her that she would lose the presidential election where she had, was several points ahead to a billionaire reality TV estate mogul with Cheeto colored skin and windswept hair. Happy birthday, Hillary. <laughs> Malcolm Flex, you absolute savage. Much like Hillary herself, post that didn't age well. Donald Trump Jr. jumping in over the top. Happy birthday, Hillary. October 26 should be a national holiday where we remember this tweet. We should call it Hillary Clinton GFY Day. Yeah, baby. So good. 
So good. There, there are like some, there are some interesting, there are some interesting uh, things though that have happened since. In case, in case, like Jack's, Jack's tweets right about how everything that we are facing today is because Hillary Clinton didn't become president, right? That just broke the matrix. A little Tateism there. It really did though. This was the goal. The goal was to have a a forever regime, Republican, Democrat, you know, flip, like you let both sides win a little bit every couple of elections. That's exactly what the George W. Bush election was. You let both sides win a little bit, feel like they're in power, but you control everything, right? The masters are always in control. This is why they couldn't stand Donald Trump because he wasn't part of the plan. They, they can't, they couldn't stand it. Now, Hillary Clinton sent this tweet not too long after she actually physically collapsed. Few people remember this, Hillary Clinton dropping like a slab of meat at the September 11th memorial. She was incredibly sick. She was a sick person. People forget, like, she was Biden levels of sick, incompetent, repulsive, and unable to even, like, physically stand. What you see there is her being dragged into the vehicle, the waiting the cooler van, as a slab of meat, and then she actually loses her shoe. She just falls completely unconscious. And on the campaign trail, soon after... Hillary Clinton couldn't stop coughing. It happened again and again. She just. But you don't have a powerful job. Hours of this. If you work at it, you stick with it. <laughs> you can make a difference. People forget. People forget. We don't forget. Elephants never forget. <laughs> Jabba. Thank you. No, oh, thank you. Well, you'll never become president. And more importantly, like, like even though Jack was right and that Hillary has sought her revenge on our sweet American, innocent American democracy and the little norms and the things that we used to hold dear, like the police state won't just come to your door and knock on and knock your door in and take you from your children and so on and so on and so on. Uh, and we have some justice in this country and judges are actually judges and not activists. Like, while Hillary stole that from us, we did land quite a few blows here. Uh, like, Hillary, for instance, is a deeply, deeply hated and despised person around the world. Here's Hillary walking in England to go get some weird honorary degree, followed by, you know, one of the children from Epstein's Island. Uh, and listen to the way that she's welcomed. <laughs> Or a criminal. People are, like throwing stuff. People are yelling "war criminal" in in Hillary Clinton's beloved New York City. Of course, a city that is bluer than the blue planet and Neptune or Venus or whatever. You got it. Like you got it. You gotta assume that Hillary Clinton would be welcomed somewhere, right? That she would be that 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 when she walks the street, the people would like her, right? N wrong. You would be dead wrong. This is how Hillary Clinton is welcomed on the streets of New York City. Super base, New York. Didn't think I'd ever say it, but here we are. So without further ado, this week, Hillary Clinton was giving another one of these muling speeches to some hedge fund somewhere and cashing in massive amount of money because people secretly know that between her and Barack Obama, there's a, th that's like the actual shadow presidency that's going on. And Hillary Clinton was screamed at during that speech. This is, this is her, this is her, 
mark. This is what Hillary Clinton will be suffering through for the rest of her miserable life. She is a deeply reviled person. She was rejected by the American people. She'll never get over it. She wants to put us all in camps because of it, she's happy to say. But ladies and gentlemen, this is her fate. And it's a beautiful one. Happy birthday, Hill Dog, Hill Beast. Don't find yourself in a federal lockup with Hillary Clinton cackling down the hallway when the little red blinking light on the camera goes off. It will be bad. Check this out. Struck by the hypocrisy of this. Two more people I, I to hear from. I'm sorry. You, you have a the, chance. Well, the, I'm not sorry. The, the hip, you sit down. I, and I know you're not sorry. People, That's the point. The hypocrisy of this talk. speech. The I'm hypocrisy of the fact that Frank what, what do you have? Can you please can you, is can you please a make a statement about President Joe Biden's speech? This is a clearly is, warmongering speech. President Joe Biden is calling for a hundred billion dollars of funding for Israel, Taiwan, and Ukraine, and we're supposed to just bundle these together and pretend like we're going to rush to World War III, and we're all just going to let Hillary Rodham Clinton sit here. And, okay. I'm yes. sorry. You know, yes. this is not, what, what, this is not no, the way no, to have no, a conversation. I'm sorry. If you want to have a conversation, you're no, welcome to come you, talk to you me can, afterwards. You can sit here. Okay, right. You're yeah, gonna you're gonna yeah. you're gonna wait for me, right? I, I, please, I, I don't. I do not believe you. I will listen to you and I, do, I will respond. I do to you. not believe you. But Respectfully, right. I do not believe you. Well, and the fact just, of the matter is that the just, American people's voice are what needs to be heard. Yeah, because, they are being because heard. our president is not speaking for the American people, and well, neither are you. Well, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. Yes, that's my but, opinion. But well, then sit down. We've heard your opinion. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna turn to people who are on the I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop working on behalf. I'm gonna wait here. Rights. I'm going to exercise my free speech. But until, it's not, until it's I'm not free speech when you this, are disrupting yes, everybody it is. else's opportunity. It is free speech. Speak. This is free speech, everyone. This is free speech. That is not free speech. This is people t constructing narratives that are openly hypocritical. I'm sorry. You, the, the incredible hypocrisy. You, you know, maybe you John could Foster actually... Dulles went with Eleanor Roosevelt to bring this Declaration of the Rights of Man. John Foster Dulles was involved with the CIA. Oh, yeah. Well, he, you're brilliant in your oh, historical yes. uh, yeah, thank cherry you. And picking. The Pinochet, the Pinochet regime. Oh, please, listen. could you please inform me about the United States? Okay, involved we are in these going historical to, things? We're going to move on to Ms. Clinton, to will you denounce Joe Biden? Actually on will the you denounce Joe Biden's for human speech? rights? Not will just down. yelling about it. Right so, Frank, and, I want to turn to you because Right you well, are sit, from Uganda, and you? Uganda's 2023 Anti-Homosexuality Act criminalizes LGBT war, uh, conduct in Uganda. To push us to World War and, III. Oh, Do please. you understand? It's please. not about Israel and Palestine. It's not please. about, it's not you're, football. You're this isn't football. It's not Team yeah. America. Well, I'm sorry, but some you of us are down. on Team America despite our flaws and our yes. problems. And, yes, and that, that's me. <laughs> And some of us, to do you can't, every you can't person take over on this stage, you have to stop right now. You have to stop. Wait, wait. I'm going to exercise my right now. Every person on this stage has wished their life, their income, right. their Excuse reputation, me. their careers, and what okay. have you done other than stand up and disrupt? I need you to. I need you to. I'm the Sir, and these have, women's records and Frank's records against you any You're day of event. the year. I'll okay. respond. What I have done is I have asked Hillary Rodham Clinton to denounce the president's openly warmongering, suicidal, idiotic speech. And that's I'm giving my asked. answer. I will that's not what do I've that. Done. So that's the end of I, our conversation. Okay, but sure. I'll still meet you I outside. But you done. Right now. Okay, Frank. Okay. Frank, Frank has... has